Hi, what I've got here is a four digit display that I made using the Max 7219 and two source and sync drivers. The reason why I've done that is because I'm using large LED displays which need quite a bit of current to get some decent brightness. The problem you've got with your Max 7219 is it can only provide a maximum of 40 milliamps peak current per segment. Now if you divide that by eight digits that gives you five milliamps average current which for a modern small display high efficiency display that's bright enough but if you wanted to run larger displays like these that typically need 15 to 20 milliamps to give some decent brightness it's going to be too dim so a way around that problem is to run some external drivers to drive the display I'm still using common cathode displays here so it's exactly the same as the Max 7219 uh, what you've got here is a source driver that then goes through the LED displays and then you've got a sync driver at this side here which syncs the current down to ground I'll explain that on the schematic in a minute but for now I can say this thing it's a bit difficult to see in this light but that is quite bright uh, it was unacceptably dim before these chips do get quite warm. These ones slight snag with this setup though. You've got to run the LEDs from a higher voltage. In this case I'm running from 7 volts. That's because your voltage drop across the LED displays, your resistors and these two driver chips. 5 volts just isn't enough to get a decent amount of current through it. This is given 15 milliamps average current the way that's worked out is because the scan limit is set to only four digits rather than eight and there's approximately 60 milliamps being sourced from this chip peak current so you divide that by four that gives you 15 milliamps and that is now bright enough right, I'll just show you the schematic hopefully that comes out okay uh, increase the exposure that's better right so the circuit consists of inputs which go through a logic level converter to convert the 3.3 volt input to 5 volts because you max 7219 connect the data sheet although they may work with a 3.3 volt input the data sheet says it needs a minimum of three and a half volts for a logic one so to be on the safe side I've used some Logic level translators. Now, in this case, my board. Uh, so you can see I've jumped with them out. Because I'm running it from an Arduino, which obviously outputs 5 volts. So in this case, in that case, you don't need the logic level translator. But I've made this board so that it work on a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, or an ESP8266. So if I were running it from a ESP8266, I'd have to fit this chip here which is a 74HCT125 uh, out of the way right anyway yeah so that then goes into your Max 7219 9 as normal your outputs go through a UDN 2982A through your current limit resistors through your LED displays and then through the ULN 2980A down to ground now this chip here is a logic inverter that's required because when the digit is on your digit output pins are going to be at the logic zero level and your ULN 2803A needs the logic one to turn the output on which sinks it down the ground so I've put in here a 74HCT04 to change it from a logic zero to a logic one then that enables you to uh, run higher current displays now these ones snag with these chips they only take a maximum of 500 milliamps for the entire chip so you can't run crap some loads of current through them because they're going to blow up so what I've done in my case in this example is I've set the peak current to around 60 milliamps which if you divide that by 8 gives you 7.5 which isn't much more than the original 2.5 original um, 5 milliamps 
of the Max 7219. So, as I said earlier, I've put in the code, I adjusted the scan limit. So, all the scans for maximum four digits. So, each display is only on for 25% of the time. So, that doubles your average current to 15 milliamps, which is plenty bright enough for these particular displays. Now, this VLED, uh, like I said, is 7 volts. That's simply because of the displays I've used. You can use this circuit to drive the large 2.3 inch displays as well, but you'd have to increase your VLED accordingly and likely adjust your uh, current limited resistors as well, depending on the specs of your display. That's because you've got 1.6 volts drop across that chip and approximately 1 volt drop across that chip plus your voltage drop over LEDs which is typically 1.6 to 2.2 volts your high efficiency displays may have a voltage drop of up to 2.6 volts and then you've got your current limit resistors which you'll need to obviously work out depending on what your VLED supply is and your total voltage drop so that's how I work that one out but like I said earlier you've got to be careful not to overload these chips because you've got to assume that worst case scenario it's going to be displayed an 8 with the decimal point on so if you've got all these outputs at 100 milliamps that's going to give you 800 milliamps in total and blow that chip up so I've limited it to 60 but yeah this circuit can be used to display to drive the very large displays which typically have four LED chips per segment. Obviously you'd have to modify that accordingly, but yeah, uh, I'll just do a quick calculation. Yeah, that's right, I was just making sure I'd uh, worked all my sums out right. But yeah, that's uh, that's it then. So, I mean, yeah, uh, the Max 7219 is okay for driving the smaller LED displays and our high efficiency ones but if you want to use standard efficiency displays or large displays then you're going to drive a circuit like this even if you're using one of the large 4 inch displays your current total current through each segment is going to be the same but your voltage is going to be higher these two drivers will take up to 50 volts so even if you've got a massive LED display with 8 chips per segment you'd better run it because your total current it's still only going to be 15 milliamps through the whole string of LEDs. All that changes your voltage. So you'd have to obviously work that one out. I'll just quickly show you what I mean. Right, so if you wanted to run this, I'll work this one out in this case, there's one LED chip per segment on this, so you got 7 volts. Then you got your minus your 1.6 volts of that chip, minus your 1 volt of that chip, minus your 1.7 volts voltage drop of these, and then that will give you a total of what's that? Let's work that one out. Right. So in this case, here yeah, you got your 7 volts minus your 1.6. Minus your 1, minus your 1.7, that gives you 2.7 volts, that's available, and then you divide that by 47 ohms, and that gives you 57 milliamps. Then divide that by 4 digits, and that gives you 14.36 yeah, 14 milliamps. Average current. That's plenty. Now, if you want to use a larger display, that say four LED chips in there, that'd be slightly different. Just do the quick equation for that one now. Okay, that there. So you got you need a supply voltage of 15 volts there. So you got 15 volts minus you. 1.6 volt drop across each of your four LED chips minus a 2.6 volt drop across the thing that gives you 6 volts which is plenty 
I mean, you could even drop it down to 12 volts. Yeah, with a 12 volt supply, that gives you 3 volts to play with, which isn't much more. So that's still with a 47 ohm resistor, that would give you. Um, let's have a look. Uh, 3 volts divided by. What did I say it was? 47. Right, that gives you 63 milliamps, which is a bit too high, so you'd have to uh, increase your voltage, uh, sorry, your resistance of your current limit resistors. Got to say 56 ohms. So, divided by 56, that gives you 53 milliamps. So, yeah, uh, times that by 4. So, yeah, so, so, yeah I mean, the, the next size up would be realistically. 50, 56 ohms. So, but obviously, this 1.6 volts depends on your particular LED displays. You'd have to work that out. Uh, but yeah, that's how you how you do it. So it's possible to use a Max 7219. So get that a bit better, it's not the camera, that's better. Yeah, it is possible to use a Max 7219 to drive large LED displays. Uh, oh, the uh, stand camera thing's falling apart. Uh, cheap China, the more cheap Chinese rubbish. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the Max 7219 will drive large LED displays. Just need a couple of current amplifying chips. Now I would buy high efficiency displays that give a decent amount of brightness of about 15 milliamps. It just obviously you have to increase your LED voltage depending on the type of displays you've got. But I read other people have said you have to use common analog displays, which is possible. Uh, you just drop your swap your source and sync drivers around. That'd work. Uh, but like I say, in this case, it's all common cathode. Oh, no, no, there goes the nervous starting to bang about. So, I think I'll wrap you up now anyway. I think that's pretty much explained everything. I'll put some links down below to this schematic so you can have a look at it in more detail. Thanks for watching.